When building models in Inventor, there are many different strategies that can be used depending on your needs. In this exercise, we'll use a single sketch to control an entire part. This is often used when importing geometry from 2D systems like AutoCAD, and the sketch we're going to use is essentially a top view of a part from an AutoCAD file. On the screen you can see the part we're going to make. This is the completed version. If you open up the exercise file, Distance from Face, you can see that I've started to create this part for us. We've used the original sketch, which was that top view I mentioned previously, to generate the cylindrical boss and the platform you see on the screen. And these are just generic extrudes to a distance. The first one's to a two inch distance, the second feature is to a quarter inch distance. What we want to do now is use the remaining profiles in that sketch to create two new features. We can do this by right clicking in the graphics window and selecting extrude, and you can see we're looking for a profile. Let's go ahead and select both of the profiles that are hidden underneath that platform that we just created. If you need to see it a little more clearly, you can rotate to the bottom. When we select those profiles, you'll notice that Inventor defaults to a cut. That's because if it sees material right up against the sketch plane, it's going to assume you want to remove material. Let's go ahead and change that. Instead, let's join material. You'll see by setting it to join, it turns solid again, but it doesn't extend beyond the original base. Let's go ahead and change the extents by clicking the extents dropdown and selecting distance from face. What this does is allows us to select a new face to start the sketch on, even if the sketch is on a different plane. If we select the top of this face, you'll see that the platform is lifted up off of the sketch plane and onto the top face of that previous feature. If we select OK, you can see that we now have an additional feature added. In the browser, you can see Extrusion 5 controlled by the same Sketch 1 that you see at the top of the browser. Let's do this one more time. We'll right click and select Extrude. And this time, the profile we're going to select is just the small one on the bottom edge. You can see it defaults to a cut. We'll reset that to a join. And then once again, from the Extents dropdown, we'll select Distance from Face and we'll select the top face of the feature we just created. Again, you can see that the feature is lifted up onto that face and it's extruded a quarter inch. We can go ahead and use the heads up display to increase this to one inch to complete our part. When you select OK, you can see that the feature is created and now you can hide the sketch from the browser by right clicking on it and selecting visibility.